So I'm 59, in five years' time I'll be 64. So I think that's, you know, that would have been uh, almost 28 years doing this job. So it's the right time, you know. Uh, leadership is to know when to go. And uh, I've been wanting to go for a while, but COVID kind of got in between. So um, in my mind is succession planning, Jager. It's very important, right? I think too many leaders stay on for too long. And, uh, you know, we have very, very good secondary leaders, uh, not secondary, second liners, and a lot of good people. I think that's one of the, what Tansri Jamal said to me, one of the first things he said to me, he said, wow, the people you have in AirAsia is so impressive. And, uh, but it's been overshadowed by, by me, right? And taking off my shirt and all these other things, right? So, um, the, you will have a much boring time when I retire, that's for sure. But, but the five years is a long time. I have many priorities. I think number one, get the aircraft to 333, get us to close to 200 million passengers, get, get the merger between AirAsia X and AirAsia happening. I hope, I hope, I have failed so far, but get an airline in Singapore and Vietnam, especially Singapore, that's a personal thing. And then one, one holding company that owns all the airlines and to centralize as much as possible. And finally, to be the best customer service, the cleanest planes, the most on time, the one that answers all your queries. We're never gonna make everyone happy, never. That's impossible. There will be someone who will be unhappy. When you carry 200 million people, you're never gonna make everyone happy. But if we can make majority, we've done well. Of our 20, 20 odd years, we've been world's best airline. But we can be better. And we can be honest. We know we can be better.